This is News Always On. The Trump administration puts 25% tariffs on $50 billion worth of Chinese goods, accusing Beijing of intellectual copyright theft. China says it will retaliate. After months of exchanging threats amid concerns over a potential trade war, U.S. Customs and Border Protection will begin to collect tariffs on the first $34 billion worth of Chinese imports starting from July the 6th, while a second set of imports subject to tariffs is still under review. President Trump warned that if China retaliates, as it has already pledged to do, the U.S. will impose even more tariffs. He added, quote, the U.S. can no longer tolerate losing our technology and intellectual property through unfair economic practices. Mr. Trump said the tariffs were essential to prevent further unfair transfers of American technology and intellectual property to China, which will protect American jobs. The tariffs focuses on areas of China's industry such as aerospace, robotics and machinery. The list was released today and it included about 1,100 products. On Friday, Trump announced, quote, My great friendship with President Xi of China and our country's relationship with China are both very important to me. Trade between our nations, however, has been very unfair for a very long time. This situation is no longer sustainable. China has, for example, long been engaging in several unfair practices related to the acquisition of American intellectual property and technology. China, in return, has threatened to retaliate forcefully for any tariffs, listing U.S. products that range from soybeans, meat and whiskey to cars and airplanes. On Thursday, International Monetary Fund Director Christine Lagarde warned that the Trump administration's trade policies were likely to hurt the U.S. economy and undermine the world's trade system. She said a trade war would lead to, quote, losers on both sides and could have a serious impact. Chinese Foreign Minister spokesman Geng Shuang repeated early warnings, saying, quote, If the U.S. takes unilateral and protectionist measures that harm Chinese interests, we will respond immediately by taking the necessary decisions to safeguard our legitimate rights and interests. For more news updates, subscribe to our channel.